So, good afternoon. Let us start with the nutrition uh, continuation. Okay. So you have already seen BMR. Okay. So uh, what is BMR? Basal metabolic rate. That is the minimum energy required. Okay. Minim minimum energy required for sustain normal vital organ functions we can say that in other words so what is the significance of bmr bmr is required to know for calculation of calorie requirement of an individual for calorie requirement of an individual uh, we can assess with uh, bmr so using bmr we can calculate the calorie requirement of an individual so total energy required by an individual like it may be 2000 kilo calories or 5000 uh, or, uh, or not less than that uh, 1500 kilo calories whatever so total energy required by an individual is equal to energy required for B bmr plus energy required for physical activities plus energy required for specific dynamic action of food so this word may be new for you specific dynamic action of food okay so this is nothing but specific dynamic action of food is nothing but the extra energy produced over okay the extra energy produced over and above the actual uh, calories of food okay this is the uh, sta means specific dynamic action of food it is the extra energy produced actually in the body for example if you consume 25 grams of protein so we can expect a 100 ca 100 calories but actual amount of calorie released by consuming 25 grams of protein is not 100 it is 130 so 30 grams extra is there so this extra 30 kilo calorie is called sta of protein okay so what is actual supposed to produce more than that that is extra energy is called specific dynamic action okay of any food for example sta of protein is more actually 30 percent that of carbohydrate is 5 percent and that of protein is 13 percent okay so this is the uh, just we are dealing with the use of bmr okay so there are uh, other energy required for physical activities so which is divided into three groups we can divide heavy workers like laborers and even uh, working in the factories and all and moderate workers housewives and all and sedentary worker who work less okay they required sedentary workers required BMR plus uh, 30 percent uh, BMR basal metabolic rate energy required for basal metabolic rate added to that 30 percent of BMR extra is needed for sedentary workers for moderate worker BMR plus 40 percent of BMR is re required this is addition in for heavy workers BMR plus 50 percent of the BMR is required okay it depend on the uh, physical activity of the person okay on uh, next we see one of the important uh, short note for you that is dietary fibers okay so you already heard this word uh, dietary fibers because if you see most of the foods food content which is uh, obtained in the supermarkets and all they mention dietary fiber is there this much like oats is a complete dietary fiber if you take whole grain atta or wheat it contains this much dietary fiber so the so nowadays uh, as uh, uh, this nutrition uh, related things uh, uh, gives more and uh, more importance because of the lot of metabol uh, uh, metabolic related diseases especially uh, diabetic mellitus stand first position okay so dietary fibers are polysaccharides they are polysaccharides means they are carbohydrates but the important point you have to remember they are indigestible in the gastrointestinal 
tract GIT they are indigestible in GIT so source of dietary fiber cellulose you can remember so they are mostly derived from the plant okay present in the vegetable brands of cereal hulls of legumes means the outer skin portion of legumes legumes means uh, like your peanut and all uh, they uh, when their seeds get dried up they split they split and they rupture and split such pulses are called legumes okay so other than that brands of cereal and all they are, uh, they are mainly these dietary fibers are plant wall cell wall materials cellulose is the best example lignin pectin and other example so what is the importance what is the use or what is the beneficiary effect of these dietary fibers okay so again i repeat this is one of the important short note so they retain water in the feces and they prevent constipation how dietary fibers uh, prevent constipation because they retain water in the feces and uh, the thing is they promote colonic peristalsis that is the nothing but the movement of the colon they increase they make easy the movement of colon so they promote they enhance colonic peristalsis so thereby it, they prevent uh, constipation that is one of the main function of dietary fibers see dietary fibers can also be used for weight reducing diets okay so it can it is best to include for weight reducing diet because it is not absorbed by gastrointestinal tract so but it added uh, adds weight of the food it provide a feeling of fullness without contributing to calories because it is least absorbed by gastrointestinal tract so inclusion of fiber rich food so uh, include under weight reducing diet so dietary fibers absorb bile salt cholesterol and all so they increase fecal excretion okay so thus these dietary fibers also helps in reduce serum cholesterol so they absorb bile salt cholesterol and increase a uh, fecal excretion also these dietary fibers increase the volume of feces okay so also dietary fibers improves glucose tolerance in diabetes by slowing the absorption of glucose because these dietary fibers are remains unabsorbed so they interfere with the absorption so these dietary fibers slow they slow the rate of absorption of glucose so they improves glucose tolerance okay absorption of glucose because absorption of glucose slowers so there is a, a less amount of uh, there is uh, less amount of glucose is released to blood okay it holds the glucose so glucose is uh, blood uh, uh, glucose is released to blood in a reduced rate also this dietary fibers prevent colon cancer it is said it prevent colon cancer okay so dietary fibers add bulk to the food and gives feeling of stomach fullness and hence increase the satiety value of the food okay satisfaction fullness feeling that is satiety value of the food so act, uh, so same reason for this so it is not uh, remains unabsorbed okay so it uh, they add bulk to the food gives feeling of stomach fullness because if you take more salad and fi uh, fibers so this is the vegetables or uh, green uh, for salad and all you feel the, that your stomach is filled okay so your uh, food satiety value is satisfied so there are some adverse effect of dietary fiber so they impair the absorption of certain minerals like iron calcium magnesium and all okay so Uh, daily requirement of dietary fiber is about 30 grams per day okay so next one is the important is the balanced diet we have to eat food but it should contains required proportion of all the essential uh, nutrients 
okay in a balanced proportion that is balanced diet is defined as the diet which contains different types of food what are those different types of food carbohydrates proteins fat also include minerals water adequately okay so in proportion to meet the requirement of the body so body maintenance and vital organ functioning and well being here see here proportion word is important so how we add how we take in proportion carbohydrate required more protein let compared to less fat is still less but it is minerals and uh, uh, this vitamins required in milligrams but they are essential they are very essential for the growth and maintenance of various biological activities okay so importance of balanced diet uh, if you understand the balanced diet proportion is important balanced diet leads to a good physical and mental health it helps to proper growth of the body and also it increases the capacity to work and also this balanced diet increases the ability to fight or resist diseases for example if you goes on taking carbohydrate more and more that is converted to glycogen if still excess is deposited beneath the skin as fat so it may lead to metabolic disease disorders like maturity onset diabetic mellitus so 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 to fight against the diseases we required immunoglobulins so immunoglobulins are nothing but a class of proteins okay which is required for antigen antibody reactions okay so these are the importance of dietary fibers uh, uh, this uh, sorry balanced diet how we take the how much proportion we take carbohydrate protein fat minerals nutrients and electrolytes the uh, that chart itself is a, a key note of this balanced diet okay so what are the components of balanced diet it required fat 20% so proteins so where 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 we can found food day to day light uh, life for cooking purpose we use ghee butter oil we take cheese they are fat rich fat they yield energy proteins we need for the growth purpose and wear and tear of the tissue but what is the what is the important function of the protein is building muscle okay so it is provided by milk product dairy product uh, the butter ghee uh, cheese Uh, meat is rich of uh, you know eggs chicken so protein contribution is about 10 to 20% of total energy requirement what about carbohydrate carbohydrates are required 60 to 70% of the total energy requirement okay so they are found in cereals rice wheat chapati whatever cereal always cereals are like wheat rice are rich in carbohydrate and the uh, protein proportion is less 70 to 30 like that 65 to 35 but uh, pulses tur dal moong dal whatever we, call, we use pulses they are rich in protein comparatively protein content is high okay so uh, what about minerals uh, uh, vitamins and fibers they are they improve body is resistant to disease and you know that minerals uh, are required like calcium for coagulation transmission of nerve impulse potassium is required calcium is required but what about the vitamins particularly b complex vitamins act as coenzymes you have seen coenzymes are forms of niacin nad fad uh, uh, nadh and all they are involved in various reactions they act as a coenzyme for various biochemical reactions okay so uh, so uh, so how to build up this balanced diet so food should be available locally because we can't go for other countries to bring the food export uh, sorry import the food it is difficult so uh, and cost also there so it is it must be locally available food suppose south indians are taking this rice and all other things so it should be locally available uh, so based on that we have to build up the uh, diet of that local population so 
should be within the economic means it should not be very costly that should be easily digestible and palatable should contains enough dietary fibers balanced that should be an intelligent intelligent assortment of food items from basic food groups means how we pick up the food how much proportion we pick up uh, and uh, uh, in what proportion and how we use that one whether it is raw or half boiled or boiled or preserved or fresh one and all everything will count mainly quantity and proportion so there are five basic food groups so there are five basic uh, food groups it is uh, uh, categorized in a different way but here we uh, classify it as see there are three columns basic food groups uh, food items where it is present middle column and major nutrients cereals uh, wheat rice and all so calories we get cereals with so uh, mainly it also gives b complex vitamins dietary fiber and proteins if you use whole grain so we get dietary fiber also vitamins also protein mainly from where we will get meat fish egg beans pulses pulses are rich egg meat and all so we get protein along with the fat iron vitamins and minerals some of them so what about fruits and vegetables all varieties of fruit vegetable vitamin c we can get vitamin a that is carotene beta carotene dietary fibers as i told before dietary uh, vegetables are rich in dietary fibers milk is the major food our so milk group is there milk also include dairy product okay butter cheese and all protein fat calcium riboflavin and all we will get with that okay sugar mainly table sugar what we add to uh, food and tea and all edible oils uh, animal foods they present calories they provide mainly calories carbohydrate fat soluble vitamins we get with oil uh, this essential fatty acids also we get from the fats and oil sugar mainly provide calorie okay so this is one example for balanced diet which is built up for an adult man doing moderate work okay so he may require 2500 calorie per day so what are the food items he take so wherever that yellow star is there for vegetarian okay so food items uh, uh, so approximate how much is uh, required for adult man with 2500 calorie per day so cereal means rice wheat and all about 450 meat fish or if fish not there pulses also rich in uh, protein so 50 gram uh meat if you are taking the pulses 75 gram we can take egg about 30 grams those who are vegetarian they can avoid egg and take take pulses green leafy vegetable 120 gram vegetable as if whole 75 gram roots and tubers remember these roots and tubers are starch and they are rich in carbohydrate fruits 30 gram milk 100 gram vegetarian they can increase the quantity and also it's required fats and oil okay so about 25 m gram uh, out of uh, 250 2500 kilo ca- uh, calorie vegetarian again take more 40 sugar uh, 25 gram okay uh, in any forms so this is the uh, example for an balanced diet for an adult man doing moderate work so let us continue the next class remaining Okay